brand new set of KPH 30 eyes. I have a bunch of these costs sent over like as promotional. And I just cracked one open because mine's all melted and stuff because I did do it. And I'm like, I probably need to break these in before I really like the way they sound. Nope. Fucking amazing. Anyway, we're not here to review the KPH 30 eyes, although every review is a review of the KPH 30 eyes. There's a clear one coming. Shh. Surprise. It's every video now. This is what we're here to review. Uh, you, you could have been confused by any one of these. But this is the one we're actually reviewing. This is the new FIO BTR 3K. This is the BTR 3. This is the BTR 3K. Do you follow me? You follow me so far? Uh, real quick, the differences as far as what you can look at. The BTR 3 had an integrated metal clip. I didn't mind this. This is basically, I use this all the time for my live streams. When I live stream on Wednesday and Sunday, this is what plays to my modified set of Klipsch KPH30Is for six hours while I live stream. So I hear the people on Vent. Um, this uh, has only three and a half millimeter out and a USB-C charger in. I don't think this was capable of hooking up to your computer and being used as a DAC. That's the old one. Here's the new one. We've lost the integrated metal uh, clamp in favor of, Fio oh, I'm so sorry, Fio. Fio's new clear clip-on thing, the same like they have on the BTR5, which I have here also. So you get to take on and off your clip, which means you can make it very, very slim if you wanted it to. Like, it's, it's non-existent. And I think they did that because you can use this as a USB jack if you wanted to, too. Either to your phone with an OTG cable, like a USB-C to USB-C, because the USB-C is now on this side, so it would just become a dongle DAC at that point, or plug it to your computer with the uh, wire they've provided. They've generously provided this wire, which is actually the perfect length, because it's a little bit too long to make it a dongle DAC, it has to be a little bit shorter. But you get a dongle DAC length wire, you got the little clear clip-on case, which is nice. I don't know where Fio sells replacements for this, because it does feel like a slightly brittle plastic. But it does allow you to rotate either direction. Actually, you can go... One of the reasons, when, when I was talking about the Shanling here, this is the Shanling. What's your model number again? The Up4? What you up for, Shanling, is here's the little plastic case, and they don't even have, like, a spring on this. It's just bendable plastic. Uh -huh. I mean, it's fine, it works, and this was supposed to compete with the BTR-5, and it got close. It got higher than the BTR-3, but it didn't quite reach BTR-5. But I really liked the volume wheel. Like, I really, really liked the wheel to control the volume. Balance out, regular out. Now, with this, you get balance out, regular 3.5 millimeter out. You got a 2.5, a 3.5. The USB-C is on the other end, so you can dongle deck it. And with this case now, you can assemble it in any particular order you like. So if it clips like this, you could have the wire come out the top, you could have the wire come out the bottom, you could have the buttons in the front, the buttons in the back, however you want to do it. So I like that. I do like that. And I'm going to put it back on, you know? I'm going to just... There, it clips in. Again, it feels like it wants to shatter into a million pieces, but it hasn't so far. And I've been using this thing for weeks, so bravo. The buttons on the side are the same as the buttons on the old uh, BTR3, where you get uh, power, and then a microphone hole, and then play pause, and then a up, down, volume, and track change. Well, I, I like this system too. I've got a ton of these really expensive portable players, and I'm fine with digital volume controls as long as their steps are big enough. And I don't think you need a separate next track, last track when you have a rocker already. What this does, if I unpause it with this button, is, oh, another thing they've changed from the BTR3, which was a feature on the BTR5, pause for a second. BTR5 connects to your phone, your phone has its volume control, and then when you hit the volume up and down on the 5, it doesn't change your phone's volume. A lot of these other ones, the older ones, the, the BTR3, I think, did it. When you hit the volume, it lowered the phone's volume in big 10% chunks. And that meant you either were listening at 100 or 90 or 80 or 70 or 60. And it was never quite right. So the 5 changed it, and now the 3K has taken that also. Independent volume controls. So 
you max out your phone, you could just use the volume here, or leave your phone at 70, 80%, and then you have the volume here, and you can get up and much more accurate levels of volume once you're using two things. And I know that's not the audio file way to do it, but it's wholly fucking convenient. Um, I currently have this nailed, and I have this nailed with those costs, and it's nearly painful to like it's loud. Like that's my test of unbalance, it's just gonna be the KPH 30i's, because for 30 plus, oh, another thing, this is no longer on Amazon right now, it's completely sold out, because Zeos takes too fucking long, so this video will probably not be public until they come back in stock, which I'll talk to Fio and see when that's gonna happen, um, because I think this was $80. This is like 130, and this is still one of the best things Fio makes. But they're inching ever so much closer to it with this. 11 hours of playback, more power, balanced output. LDAC, that was another thing. This, the five, was the LDAC one. Oh, it runs LDAC. Now this runs LDAC, which is how we're connected to this. LDAC is like one step above AppDex. AppDex HD, and then it goes to LDAC. Now there's apparently one above LDAC, and I'm just like, what? when does it end? Pretty much we're gonna have wireless DSD in like three years. I'm calling it. Like just higher bit rates than any human could ever attain with human ears. Human ears! No, it's gonna be some crazy shit. But uh, so now let's unplug the beautiful KPH30Is and their very giant cable. And we'll plug something else in that I haven't used in a while. We're gonna do a balanced. And I'm gonna make sure I lower this a bit. These, who remembers the one more triples? I tried to uh, whip them out in the last review I did, uh, but I just didn't have the time. These sit in my closet. These have not gone away. I did not sell these. These are one of the most beautiful made headphones ever. They're uncomfortable a little bit because you can't change the pads, but they have a dual driver that actually works. Um, so here's the pads. I'm gonna re give a little, like, oh, the metal, the metal, the machining here. This is all metal with the machined edge. And then you have the pads, which are and L, and they fold. They fold, and they slide beautifully. And they use, they actually have, they, they call it like a two and a half, I remember. There's a little ceramic tweeter that only gets 10,000 hertz and above. Then there's the main driver that gets 10,000 hertz and below. And then the back of this has a passive radiator behind this Lexan, this thin Lexan. So if you don't remember these headphones, you might wanna go back and find the full review of the one more triples. I called them the Tridents, because they were gonna call them the Tridents and they didn't, because they said, oh, let's call them the triples. And I'm like, that's stupid, they're the Tridents. You could even see little vent holes in the front to let, I don't know, I don't know what the purpose of this tweeter come through. These, these, and I, oh, by the way, these hard audio cables are finally deep enough to allow you to use a spare cable, because look at that angle, that's like in a crazy attack angle, and it barely fits in there. But now I can use these with the attached, permanently attached pads, balanced off this new uh, 3K. Uh, what am I playing off of? Fuji, Mr. Fuji, Ouija, Apathy? No, it's just something else. That's loud, hold on. Did I lower this? I did lower this. Is this up all the way? Let's see how loud this gets, hold on. Because these are not easy to drive. That was one of my things. I, I'm, I'm gonna die now. That's a Bluetooth speaker. That, and that's not a loud song. Oh, I'm gonna damage these. I'm trying to show how powerful it is and it's going to hurt something. I mean, I guarantee you 11 hours doesn't apply with that sort of level of push. And people who say like, well, balance doesn't matter. It, sometimes it doesn't matter for sound quality. Sometimes headphones don't respond to it. Sometimes you don't need it. Sometimes the design of a balance thing is not correct. But you always get more power. And that means I can take other weird headphones out and about. Like these, because these have always needed power. These have needed like portable THX amounts of power. And I have no issue with these, it's hilarious. Anything that this just... Oh shit, I can't play music. I forgot I'm on YouTube, they don't like that. Anyway, so, as you can see, 
uh, three and a half and two and a half. Now this is the BTR 3K. There's whispers amongst my patrons, and I think it's just more like wishful thinking, that there will be a BTR 5K. That also implements a, a change, because this has a two and a half millimeter, and if this went to 4.4 Pentacon, that would be a thing. In fact, I've just realized I should take this down off of here, because you would become very useful. Uh, I'm gonna have to link in the future. Zeos, future Zeos, DD Hi-Fi, link this adapter. This is a, do I have a Pentacon cable just like lying around? I put them all back. But anyway, this is a two and a half to Pentacon. So if you wanna go like absolutely berserk, you can do that. And now you have a right angle plug for your Pentacon made out of stainless steel. <laughs> oh, I love being crazy. Anyway, I put away all my things. So I've been using uh, the hard audio adapters. Luckily they come with everything. Cause I think 2.5 is going away. All my balance cables that I get now are 4.4 Pentacon. They're all four. Come over here. These, and now I have to link them because I'm not done with the review yet. It's coming, it's coming boys. Actually no, this review might come out way late depending on when that goes back in stock. But here are the blonde BLL5s. On a triple wind cable, that's 4.4 Pentacon because this is, if you had to put one in your in your portable device and yank on it, which one do you want to yank on? And it's, it's bigger, it's obviously much bigger. It's bigger than a three and a half millimeter. By a ways, you can see. 2.5 in the middle, 3.5 on the right, and then 4.4 on the left. You could see the size difference, but that's going to last. Whereas this, I've, I've, I, even I've broken them and I'm real careful. Three and a half, so everyone's broken one of those just since the beginning of time, your Dell laptop and it just goes Pfft. But a 4.4 is a robust thing. Besides quarter inch, this is the most robust connection. And I'm hoping that if they do a BTR of 5K, that's a difference there. Yes, I've heard about the other unit by, who did it? It was, I, I've reviewed something from them. It's not Hibby. Hibby, there's a Hibby here, by the way. I've totally forgot about this little Hibby W3, which I have to review. Um, it looks like it has very similar functionality to this, but it's a Hibby. So Hibby's not terrible. We've got the metal built-in thing, two button slider, power, and then nothing on this side. So I'm thinking, and it's only three and a half millimeters. So it's a little far, a little bit behind on tech, but it's blue, so there's that. Oh, there's also gonna be a new color for the BTR5. Back to the 3K, God damn it. So this thing, even if it lasts half as long as they say, and only lasts five and a half hours, can pretty much push, let's see. I haven't done this yet, I promise you. I've, I've been testing on other things, and I sat down, I'm like, you want headphones? I literally had those out from the last review, so I'm like, I'll just plug those in, I'll see what those do. So. Argon, uh, Argons, wow. Ether C flows are not necessarily known for being easy to drive. So let's. Mm. All right, now I'm maxed. And that's acceptable. It's not blowing my head up. Hold on. Ooh, you know what? No. There's, I'm pushing it real hard, I'm at maximum, and I can tell it's not liking what it's hearing. Like, there's a load, and as much as these have the power to push something that's not planar, these planars, they don't like, oof. Yeah, no. A little bit quieter, it settles down, but if I'm just max everything, ah, it, it, Yeah, no. Okay, so I guess that proves that this can't power ether C. I'm sorry. Well, I put the post there. She's not playing. You're playing. Apparently, this will not push ether C flows, everyone. So just. <sighs> I know. I know. We were so hopeful, all of us, the whole ether C flow club. We were just like, God, I just want an $80 Bluetooth dongle that can power it balanced. But uh, I, I would small that. A, I would call that a small failure, and I call this a large victory. And the fact that I could kill myself with KPH 30 eyes, and it even comes close to, oh, I have to plug these back in for a second. Because there's another new thing they've added to this. Gotta make sure I don't plug into that one. So the KPH 30 eyes, in case you don't know, come with a mic and a single button. 
Now the single button will control all the other, and a double tap. Uh, what's the temperature in France? It's 57. So this doesn't have next track, last track, play, pause. This is just a single button. And the single button, and it'll use the microphone too. So how's fucking that? Apparently the BTR5 could do that too, and I didn't know it. So if you have a legit gaming headset, I could pull out my Aerodynamic MMX 300s plug them into this and then with my phone use the microphone oh, god damn it i gotta do it now don't i come here i can't i just have to dance you think other reviewers get up and then edit that out losers all right um so now this is a four pole which has this microphone on it, which I've never really, I've used this microphone before I tested with it, but what is the sound? What are you hearing? Wow, look how fast it picked that up. I, I don't even know how to use this microphone on something. I'd have to make a Discord call. Actually, let me just try this for a second. There's no, well, actually, that'll be a good test. Hold on, because if I mute the microphone and it doesn't hear me, Hello? Hello? Nope, still hearing me. Hello? So it's not using the microphone on the thing. If I could switch the switch and it still use the thing. Oh, it might be using the microphone here. Oh, uh, it should be able to use a microphone on a four pole. I know you can't understand, baby. You wouldn't be able to understand. But how awesome would it be? This thing, stop. And now I have to make pumped up kicks. This could be your, your literally like your phone conference mic. It could be a, you could literally make this a wireless phone conference microphone. Where's this clip on to? Boom, right there. I have just made the greatest, I just wrapped this wire around like that. The greatest wireless headset ever. You should all laugh and shame you wireless gaming headsets. Boom. But seriously, like this 3K is solid. I could dick around for another 40 minutes telling you about, oh, I plugged this into it. Oh, and it has this option. Oh, and it lasts 11 hours. Oh, and it, oh, this. Actually, let me actually read what it says. Uh, yeah, not in stock, congratulations. Bluetooth 5, which does LDAC, great. Dual DACs, uh-huh. Remote control with a fee, oh, I forgot about the, I knew there was something, I'm glad I read this. You can, I have on the table here also these, which if you know what these are, then you've been on my channel. These are the Ear Studio ES100s. And these two are older models. And this is the newer model. And you could tell because the red, the, the LED ring is see-through. I kind of liked it being like a ghost ring, like it lit up behind that. But they really wanted you to see it. So this is a new one with uh, apparently improved buttons feel. And they just sent me one for testing. And this was the first Bluetooth thing that had balanced and unbalanced connections. And I'm still doesn't have a fucking USB-C. All plastic, little metal. Actually, it's all plastic except for the metal uh, clip that's built in. The reason you would look at a Near Studio ES100 is because of the application, not the implication, not the Dennis Reynolds implication, the application. Go find my review of this thing. Because if you wanted to correct your headphones and have every option, even Fio with the current Fio BTR5 and 3K, you get the Feel app on your phone, which I may or may not have, I don't care. You get to access an 11 band EQ, you get to access balance left and right on this. You can't do it on this, obviously there's no screen. On the actual five, there's a screen to adjust all those things. But on the three, you now get to adjust things like that. But that's it. And only through the app, through the Feel app, the Ear Studio, when you look into what that thing can do, it blows, still blows everybody away. It, everywhere. A BTR fucking 5K just with the app from my ear studio would be the end all portable solution for the next decade. All we need is interchangeable battery packs that pop in and out. I mean, but it lasts so fucking long anyway. So yeah, so they've added app control you can control the volume and everything through the phone through the thing which is nice but only if you're using the feo app which is basically the feo music app which is not the worst music app 
So it's not like they're negatively affecting it. But it's, it's not available on the unit itself. If you don't want to install the app, you're pretty screwed. 11 hours battery life. I At full volume, on, on balance with heavy hard drive headphones, even if you're looking at like six to seven, that's impressive for something that when you take it out of the case, is like the volume of my pinky. You could lose this thing. I had a friend buy one. He bought, got a new phone. And he's like, I don't have a headphone jack. And I'm like, I got you. Feel BTR3K. And he got it and he was like, you didn't tell me it was minuscule. And I'm like, well, what did you want? No one wants to carry around a chunk. No one wants this thing in their pocket because, oh, my headphone jack's missing. There are people who want this. I'm not one of them. I'm perfectly fine with little MPOWs sitting around in my car dashboard. Here's a new MPOW, the Shanling. We've got Ear Studios. We've got the original um, M. We've got the original non K BTR3. And I'm probably going to keep using these two for my live streams. And I'm never, ever selling the BTR5. In fact, DD Hi Fi again sells a little leather case for it with the buttons imprinted on the side so you slide it in and the leather's extra thin there so you could press the buttons. It's so nice. It's got a little hook. And I put a little County Com sticker. I love the fucking five. This is still to this moment. This hasn't replaced it yet. This has gotten much closer as far as sound quality and power to the five, but it's still not a five for reasons. But this unit, the BTR5, which is still in stock as of today, is still the unit I go to for every IEM test. Like I could sit here on my desk and I could plug into 789 and I could plug into tubes and I could plug into that. I could plug IEMs into portables. I've got portable players. I've got the M15, I've got, fucking everything this is still where i go to test 800 900 thousand dollar ims this preferably balanced but it doesn't need to be you put on low gain and you just run with it and no one i've got no one that's bought this has gone like yeah zeros you're over exaggerated this thing isn't that great it's fucking great and the 3k is real close to it real close to it I don't know what else I would want out of it. Honestly, at its price point, don't add anything else, Fio. There's nothing else to add. Maybe a red version. I, I don't know. The um, the Fio logo that blinks, sees blue, will change color as the battery starts dying because there's no indicator. Again, the 5 has a screen, so it has an indicator. So when this starts blinking red, you're, you're, you're nearing the back. Where I'm blue, what you think is perfectly fine, then it'll go purple, and then it'll go red, like hours, like hours later. And when it's, it flashes black and back and forth when you're when you're connecting to it, it, it's honestly a perfect Bluetooth dongle. For and I, when it's in stock, when it's not completely missing from the world, when it is, hold on, let me see. See, I think the price of this was eighty bucks because the price of the non K is now sixty. So I'm going to link the non K because if you're just like I just need something, Zia, I don't give a fuck if it's the best thing here. Fine, get the non K three. I'm absolutely okay with that. These MPOWs are like $30. I'm going to link these cheap MPOWs. And guess what? These are send and receive ones, all plastic and workhorses. And I use them forever. You can send to receive and you can plug them directly into your headphone with the little adapter it comes with. So I really, these MPOWs were the thing I used and they were like, that's it. 30 bucks. Everyone's got wireless headphone. Then the BTR3 came out and I was like, oh, damn, we could do better than that. And then the Ear Studio came out, and basically everybody who tried it loved it. Like, just loved it. Like, oh, this is the best fucking thing ever. And it was legit the best fucking thing ever. Until the BTR5 came in. And then the Shanling tried to beat it, but the Shanling came up a little bit short. And now the 3K joins it like father and son. To rule the galaxy for once and for all. See, my only problem with the BTR5 currently is $9 shipping, which means it's not prime, which means it's going to arrive... Uh, oh, it says June 3rd, which I, that just tells you when I'm filming this. That's like a week away. So it's not so bad. Usually it's like, oh yeah, $8 shipping coming straight from China. Good luck. So in the, in the wireless Bluetooth arena... That I have here in my apartment, not the new stuff that I haven't seen. The Lutu. Lutu! I have the Lutu player over there somewhere, the $1,100 thing. They make a BTR5 competitor now with 4.4 Pentacon out. 
And I'm hoping someone says, hey, do you want to try this? I'll have to go to my contacts and see if someone will send it to me. Because if you can unseat this, you're, you're fucking good. You're fucking real good. Because Fio, Fio makes solid products, but this is extra special. Just like Cost makes solid projects, products, but this is extra special. All right, so everyone go out. This is what you're doing today. If you can't buy, if you don't have a BTR5 and you don't like a, buy that. But if you don't want that, you want a little cheaper and it's back in stock, buy the K. And then everyone buy costs a KPH 30 eyes because they're so fucking cheap and good that you're stupid if you don't own a set. And then don't forget that the one more is exist. I'm trying to bring, if the fucking pads were interchangeable, these would be, ah. They're so nice. They're so nice just to touch. And then don't put your ether C flows on this because it'll distort. But that's it. That's my story. Um, thank you all for stopping by. Wallpaper, Marnie, best girl, in the description. All wallpapers on the Patreon and Subscribe Star. Patreon and Subscribe Star, top comment pinned. I'm putting it there now. I don't, I don't want to mess up the links anymore. Uh, see these reviews early. Ask me any questions you want on platform and participate in the yard sale. I think after I've gathered all of these, like, I don't know if I would sell the MPOWs because they're so cheap. Like, how much are you going to give me for a $30 fucking thing? $19, the and then I pay $8 shipping. It doesn't make sense. But do I really need three ear studios? These are $100 a piece. I'd probably keep the new one. And I think there might be a problem with one of these other ones that one of the sides goes out. So I'll check that before I sell it, but then I'll sell it. And then I'm gonna sell the up four. Unless my phone and my family needs the up four. Cause the up four is still better than the MPOWs and it's still better than the original BTR three. But I need a BTR five, but that knob, it's so fucking convenient. Listen to it. Okay, so I, I lied, I lied. Theo, put a knob on it. Then you got a fucking winner. I wanna see a knob and 4.4 .4 Pentacon, and then I'm done. Then I'm done asking you for things, I promise, Theo. I promise. But anyway, yeah, join Patreon, subscribe, start. Either one works. Uh, both have the same exact benefits. Um, if you wanna go higher than $5, you can get into the $10 behind the scenes Telegram chat, which is in there and filled with people, and they all know about everything I want to do beforehand, and they make decisions, and they're gonna be the ones that pick the charity when I sell those, uh, actually, it's probably happened already. If I'm waiting on the BTR 3K, this has probably happened months ago. But the Triangle Thetas, the charity that's gonna be going to support COVID things, that's gonna be picked up by the people in the $10 chat because I can physically talk to them, and it's a lot easier to have arguments back and forth than through some weird online forum. So, yeah, I'll link to everything I've, I've talked about in the description and those places. And don't forget to check out Hi-Fi Guides, the forum, best well-rounded gaming headphones. Ooh, that's a long topic. Oh, never mind. Oh, he's actually got 61 replies. That's pretty good for that topic. And then we've got the gold planars and listening to tonight and looking for upgrade advice. And then Hi-Fi Guides, the site the forum is attached to the site where you can search for things. And I don't think we have Bluetooth receiver things yet. We currently have headphone sources, but that only includes wired, like desktop. Actually, no, we have portable. Wait. We do! Portable. DAC amp combo. Solid state. BTR5. Ear Studio. The Quolos. I should probably set the, the price limit to not $2,000. Let's try that first. Let's try $196. So there we go. So the only other options you have, Ear Studio HUD 100, which is a little DAC amp like unit. The Fio Q1 Mark II, which is a hundred bucks and also balanced. And I don't give that thing enough credit. BTR5, which I says, says here 160, which is completely wrong. Um, BTR3, I have to add the 3K and the IFI hip DAC, which I think is back in stock now. The IFI hip DAC. <sighs> See, that's a full-fledged unit. I'm not even going to compare it, because that's not Bluetooth. There is no option to select for Bluetooth, like, receivable. Because that would, that would slim down the list even more. Shit, I should get my hip DAC out and use it. I love that fucking thing. The bass boost. The bass boost. It's an IFI Zen DAC, but portable. All right, I'm going to link to the goddamn hip DAC in the description also. So, 
th that's I've, I've given you an assignment. You got to pick what fucking level of madness you want. Oh, you can go over here. I don't know how you perform yet. I'll find out, Hibby. Hibby's no slouch. I don't think that's a miracle worker though, but it could be. Um, like a wallpaper thing. Okay, we're done. We're done. Thank you for stopping by. We're done. Eat pizza and enjoy life because we're not going to be here forever.